What's up guys, Austin Numa here today coming at you with yet another Adobe Premiere CC 2017 tutorial and today we're going to be covering the ever popular Super 8 film effect which you may have seen as a popular effect on Instagram in recent days. I'm going to show you how to get this effect right here inside Adobe Premiere Pro but before we do, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button with post notifications on. Alright, so I'm inside Adobe Premiere Pro. I've got my 4K footage laid out on my timeline here. I'm going to make this look really old. There's some things that I'm going to be going over that I may have covered in other tutorials tutorials, but I'm mixing in some new things here to really sell this effect. So I'm going to go up to my project panel. I'm going to grab this stock footage here that I downloaded here from YouTube. I've linked this. So you can also grab this. This is free stock footage from Beachfront B-Roll. They're awesome. They got a bunch of really great stock footage, so I recommend you checking them out. But anyway, download this and we're going to take this into our timeline. Let me bring this audio track up and overlay this over your footage. Now I'm gonna bring this audio track down because this is actually a nice little projector sound effect. It comes with, so this actually helps sell the effect. So thank you, Beachfront B-Roll. We're gonna take this down. I'm gonna take this down to about negative 10, just so it's kind of in the background. We don't want it to be a prominent piece. Now I'm gonna take this top layer, make sure it's selected, go to your effect controls, and we're going to scale this up so we get rid of these black bars on the sides. So we're going to get rid of them just like that because I'm going to be showing you the 16 by 9 way to do it. Otherwise, you can do it 4 by 3, in which case you would just set your sequence settings to a 4 by 3 setting. So now we have this scaled up. We're going to go into opacity and we're going to change this blending mode here. We do want these things to come through. The grain, the hair, the grunge look, we really want that to come through. So we'll just simply use the overlay selection. And we already see that that does add a bit of difference to our footage, adds a nice vignette to it, some hair, some grunge. This is perfect for what we need. There's some other things you need to really sell it though. So what we're going to do now, we're done with this top layer. We're going to go to our bottom layer, select that, and now we're going to change some things on here. So the first thing that I recommend you do is go to Lumetri Color, and we're going to play with a couple of these settings to really make this look old. So one thing that I want to do is I'm going to bring the exposure up because uh, back in the day, they didn't really have such good dynamic range on these small a Super 8 cameras. So we're going to bring our exposure around 0.5 and we're going to bring our highlights to about 30. Uh, that looks good. Now I'm going to go down to creative. There's a couple things that we want to do down here. I'm going to take the vibrance down to about negative 30. Then we're going to take sharpen down a little bit so we can make sure that uh, it is blurred out a little bit. We don't want this to be 4K, so we want this to be dropped a little bit more. Maybe negative 36 looks good. Now we're going to go down to our curves, and in curves, I'm going to set three points, and you may have seen me do this for faded film looks. We're going to set three points right here along this line. Now for the bottom one, this is your blacks. We want to lift those blacks considerably, and you'll see this mostly in the dark areas right here on this flag. And then we're also going to do the same to the highlights or the whites up here. So we're gonna bring those down to about right here. We just want this to look like a really nice flat image. And I could also bring this down if I wanted to, and that looks good. So that kind of gives a little bit better of a look. Now with this bottom layer selected, we're gonna go back over to effects and we're gonna type in posterize. You wanna grab posterize time and drag that onto your bottom clip. Now what this does, uh, and we'll see down here in the effects panel, is it'll set your frame rate and it'll kind of drop a couple of frames as if it needs to to give it a choppier look. So we're gonna bring this down to 18, which is about what it was back in the day for these cameras. And that'll skip each frame, just kind of giving it a more natural look. Look. Thank you guys for watching. If this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one with post notifications on. I've been Austin Newman. You can find my work on Instagram at Austin Makes Films. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.